Hey everyone, today I decided to make a more special kind of video and yep, it's the monthly updates again. Now to start off with, I'll explain why I decided to make this update video series again. Originally, I was planning to replace the monthly updates with the Building YGJ City series. But it kind of turned into a series on how to build things. And as the series gets longer, it will get harder to see what has really changed in YGJ City. So I decided to resume this update series again. Now, while I can promise to try my best in making this series, I cannot promise that this will be a monthly series, since for me, school will be starting soon in April. So I guess this series is an easier video to just compile what major changes happened in YG City over the past few months or weeks. Along with that, I'll also insert some of the plans in YGJ City. And with that, let's get started. Now, since this is the first ever update video, I'll have to go through everything that YGJ City has seen over the past 3 months. So, let's start with the spawn, or otherwise known as the Visitor Center. It's located at Sun Moon Lake, and for new visitors, take note of this name, as it is the center of YGJ City, and it's going to be quite important when you travel around the city in the future. So anyways, new players will spawn in this white donut shaped building, which is the visitor center. In the future, I will add a section for the full introduction and getting started guide for new visitors in the building. Now, let's go out a bit and see what's around the area. So beside the visitor center, we have this grey building. That's the cable car station. You can take the cable car up the mountain, though the mountain hasn't been built up yet so there's nothing much there at the moment. Along the sides of the Sun Moon Lake, you will also see this wooden broadwalk. We have an event space and a few shops will be put up here. Speaking of shops, get ready for our new cashless plugin which will allow you to buy stuff with the new Y card system. I'm currently developing it and it should take just a few weeks for it to be ready. Moving on, at the visitor center and cable car station, there are entrances to the Sun Moon Lake metro station. From there, you can take the train to anywhere in YGJ City. When traveling, it would be great to open up your browser and have two pages open. One with our dynamic map, where you can see where you are, as well as one for the train system map. Here are the links for the maps. They are all located on the YGJ City site. On the train map, take note that the solid lines are the ones active and the dotted lines are still being built and tested. Let's go to the north of YGJ City and see what's happening there. So here we are at the northwest side of the island and we have a large area here. This is the power plant. As I said in the YGG City 2020 video, we are going to have a nationwide power grid. So here is the power plant that will supply power to the nation. Inside the power plant currently are the generators which are currently under testing. Now, how this system works is that the workers at the power plant will put logs into the burner and those logs will burn, obviously. The current system, which is pretty inefficient and wastes a lot of memory of the server, uses observers to send a redstone signal when they detect a block catches on fire. What I plan to do in the future is to have just one command block detect for fire in the chamber and send a steady redstone signal if there is a fire. Over at the northeast side of the island, we have some tall skyscrapers here. These are the new buildings in Nansylvania Bay, an upcoming financial district in YGG City. And slightly south is the South House, which is basically the White House but a YGG City version. Last but not least, we have, at the other end of the island, Mount Dipan. And as the name suggests, it is built by none other than Panas Thief himself from Limaru. We have an awesome funicular railway that goes all the way to the top of the mountain and soon, we will also have a mountain village there. Coming up soon in YGG City, we have confirmed the plans for 4 new islands. 
To the north, we will have Train World, a small island which will be used to train new drivers for our metro. Talking about the metro, all lines will be automatic for now, until we, number one, have an active player base to drive the metro, or number two, implement a half capacity system where the system will have half the automatic trains. Both have their limitations, but we'll see in the near future. Then, we have Waijiji City Amusement Park, which will be on another island. As the name suggests, it's an amusement park, and I don't think I have to say more, you should know what that is. Beside it, will be another island with the resort. And lastly, to the south of the mainland, would be Waijiji City International Airport. Initial plans were to build the airport to the south of Flatlands, but that raised some problems as the buildings around it had to be built lower and it would be very noisy. So the solution is to build an airport on reclaimed land south of the island. I'm also thinking of scheduling trains though that is still in the thinking stage. Oh and most importantly, I'll get to work on the important applications form and we'll set up the government body of YGG City soon. So that's what to expect from YGG City soon. Hope you liked the video and bye!